Hey everybody, Chief Meteorologist Brad Petovich here. We've got a day you need to be weather aware on Wednesday, and it's not so much for weather as it is for poor air quality. For the first time since the fall of 2016, we have a code red air quality day, just not for our area, but for all of the Carolinas. And let me show you what's going on here. I honestly, it's been a long time since I've seen these many air quality alerts issued for such a large air. Move my head out of the way here so you could see. But you could see all of the Carolinas currently under this air quality alert for Wednesday. And we're likely going to see another one on Thursday, possibly on Friday. That includes every single county in our viewing area. But it's rare to see this for the entire region. In fact, today we had a code orange tomorrow for Wednesday. Again, this is for Basically, Wednesday, we're looking at a code red, which means unhealthy, not just for sensitive groups. This is, could be unhealthy for everybody. And so when you see this, the immediate question I get is, Brad, what should we do? Should I not go outside? That's not what you should do. Uh, unless you are very susceptible to respiratory issues, then yes, maybe you should stay inside. But for the healthy, what it means is you do not expend, extend, spend extended periods of time outside doing strenuous activities where you're gonna be breathing a ton of stuff. So don't think about exercise in the middle of the day. You know, I know a lot of people have to work outside, but take more breaks, wear a mask, because this is for smoke. This is not for ozone. So the smoke you can block pretty well uh, with those uh, N95 masks, that mask that we had from, you know, back during COVID, they're actually gonna serve you pretty well here. Let me show you the satellite imagery. And I mean, it is just stunning to look at all this smoke. Look how heavy the smoke is across areas of New York. In fact, at one point here Tuesday night, New York City had the worst air quality in the world. The fires are up here. You can actually see them. Um, if I zoom in, this, there's a ton of fires here. There's a ton here. There's some in Ontario. And this low pressure system right here is pivoting all of this smoke in. High pressure to the west is also supplying it. So we've got smoke here is coming from Western Canada. This smoke is coming from Eastern Canada. So it's coming at us from all directions. In fact, if I widen this out, I'll show you what I'm talking about. There's fires over here in Western Canada. That smoke is coming up and over the ridge, which is high pressure right here. The low pressure is right here. We've got the fires here. It spins counterclockwise. So the net effect is you start seeing everything pushing down towards the Carolinas. And this is what it looked like before sunset tonight. I mean, just absolutely inundated with smoke. I mean, it has been crazy. Let me loop this a couple times and you'll get an idea of the movement of all this. So this is pumping a lot of smoke. So when's the last time we had a code red? Um, so this is some interesting data to look at here. The last time we had a code red, if we go back and look right there, you see that red? That was in the year of 2016. That was the South Mountain State uh, Park fire. Okay, South Mountain State Park had a fire. And then we had a fire in the middle of the summer there too. Uh, that was a drought year. That was a code red. So this was 2016. You see it right there. That's the last time. Now in the early 2000s, look at all the code reds and purples even we had. That was for ozone, ground level ozone. Our air quality was horrible. We had a lot of pollution, a lot of traffic. We weren't doing things really well back then. We've improved our air quality tremendously. And now when we see air quality days, they're typically orange or yellow at the worst due to ozone. This is a rare case where it's actually because of smoke. So let's go back to the graphics here. I'll show you the smoke forecast. It's not great, I'm not gonna lie to you. You see the source region, there's our fires all up there, but also notice there's some over in Western Canada. So we are getting some of that. The low pressure here over Halifax, watch this spread down the smoke. So overnight tonight into Wednesday morning, you're gonna wake up to some really thick smoke. Now there's a cold front moving in that's probably gonna initially mix some of this smoke down to the surface. But as we go through time, we could mix some of the smoke out at least briefly. So you'll see as we go into Wednesday night, maybe the smoke clears out. So there might be a brief lull in the smoke, but look what's up here. The winds are still out of the north. So we're gonna see a whole nother surge of smoke coming down here on Thursday into Friday possibly. And so that's gonna set the stage. Again, th those fires are still burning. That smoke is still gonna be coming down here. So it's gonna be a mess um, as we go through the next couple of days. I don't anticipate a lot of that fire going out. And then look at that next plume coming down. I mean, that's what could be heading our way for, for Friday. So until we get to the weekend, we're gonna be dealing with these air quality alerts. So again, uh, we're gonna go with a weather aware Heads up for tomorrow. I want you to be aware because if you do have respiratory issues, the very young, the very old, I want you to take extra caution. And remember, 
even if you're okay, check on the little ones, check on your elderly neighbors, watch out for the pets. Anybody who looks like they're struggling, they're gonna have real issues breathing. This is gonna catch you off guard. You're gonna be short-winded. You're gonna have a tough time catching your breath. It's all because of wildfire smoke from Eastern Canada. Be safe and be weather aware for poor air quality.